Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to cover a question that I'm getting quite frequently. The question is how to get started with natural language processing. This video will be relevant to both people who are complete beginners to NLP, as well as to people who might have some experience in NLP, but want to go even deeper and take their learning and understanding of NLP to the next level. So let's get into it and I hope it will be useful. If you find it useful, please like and subscribe to the channel. First of all, before jumping straight into doing your NLP course, there are some prerequisites you should certainly have covered. It is important, first of all, to have pretty solid programming skills in Python, I would say, since the majority of NLP work today is done in Python. Along with Python, you should learn about some of the commonly used general purpose Python libraries out there, such as NumPy, SciPy, and sklearn. Those are libraries for scientific computing in Python that are very, very useful. Um, and also, you should take a look at um, what are the common tools used to program um, in Python. For example, you could learn how to use Jupyter Notebooks um, as well as Google Colab, which contains GPUs that you could use to train and run your favorite NLP models later on. Another prerequisite you should have covered before getting into NLP is to have some basic knowledge of relevant areas in math, such as linear algebra, probability, theory, calculus, and the basic of, basics of statistics. If you do an introductory course in NLP or machine learning, some of those concepts might already be covered. But in any case, I'm just mentioning this to make sure that you should for sure have those cover no matter what you do because otherwise it's going to be pretty tough for you to follow some of the NLP um, papers and tutorials out there. There's plenty of online resources available to learn those tools. If you just Google, you're going to find plenty of videos and articles on them. Similarly, you should also consider doing an introductory course to machine learning to cover some of the basic concepts in this area. Um, concepts such as classification, regression, clustering, etc. will be very valuable for um, getting started with an NLP course. And one course that I like in particular is the uh, introduction, introduction to Machine Learning course by Andrew Eng, available on Coursera. You can find it by Googling Andrew Eng Coursera Machine Learning, most likely. And the final prerequisite I would consider is to learn a little bit more about uh, common machine learning libraries in Python, such as PyTorch and TensorFlow. You can, for example, read the tutorials of those libraries to get familiar with the syntax and see how they can be used to build machine learning projects and how, yeah, how, how to build a complex machine learning projects with those libraries. Definitely it's a good exercise to learn a bit of those because you're gonna need them later on anyways. Once you have those prerequisites covered, a good way to get started with NLP, um, in my opinion, is to do an introductory, introductory course that will cover all the important concepts in NLP and will give you a broad overview of the area. There are plenty of online courses out there. One that I like personally is the Deep Learning for Natural Language Processing course by Stanford, which is available on YouTube. But you have courses available on all major MOOC platforms such as Coursera, edX, Udacity, etc. So it's a matter of what fits you best. And also you can find on those platforms some courses that might be tailored to your background better. For example, there might be potentially a course on natural language processing for finance or for other areas. But as a general rule of thumb, I would also recommend to do a more general type of course and not just a specific course, because you want to make sure that you have a good overview of NLP before diving into a specific area. And final um, way you can get find resources is to search on YouTube. You can find channels such as mine containing useful videos on NLP topics. You can also find articles on Moodle explaining various topics in more detail and in a different language that might be used in those online courses. Um, so that's something to consider as well. The next step after having the theory in place is to learn to use some of the common libraries in NLP. There are many libraries out there that are very useful, such as Spacey, uh, NLTK, and Gensium are very common. Those libraries are focusing more on tools that are more general type of NLP tools, such as word level tokenization, sentence level tokenization, entity recognition, and so on and so forth. What I would recommend is doing the tutorials of those libraries and getting familiar with using them for common simple type of NLP problems and um, yeah, already understanding how they work. It's very nice. Another library you should take a look at is the Transformers library by Hugging Face, which contains a lot of state-of-the-art models in natural language processing. You 
you should consider doing the introductory course of the Transformers library as well is very good and it will get you started on more advanced NLP problems, including how to train large scale um, transformer models, fine tune them on a task that you're interested in. The next step after having the theory and libraries in place is to focus on doing practical projects. And this is perhaps the most important part where a lot of people get stuck at. You need to apply what you have learned to practical um, projects that are relevant to industry or to research, depending on your interest. And some online courses that you might have done or might already come with projects to get you started with. But another way to find ideas for projects is to just do a competition on Kaggle, for example, or to come up with your own project idea. But in general, one idea I would strongly recommend, especially if you're a beginner in NLP or even programming in general, is to find a group of people that have similar goals and interest interests as you and maybe at, or at a similar level as you and organize a study group um, to work with them. You can pick a project, you can have video calls, they don't have to be people in the same time zone as you, but you can learn a lot from each other and you're going to have some people to bounce ideas off of and to tackle a project together. And this will be much more successful compared to if you're on your own and you're trying to get a project started, project going, because there will be a lot of times when you will be stuck and you don't know what to do and it will be really helpful to have a group of people to discuss your project with another area um, another focus area where you can look at to advance your learning in NLP is to read research papers you can get started for example uh, by reading some of the top papers um, in NLP such as the paper introducing the transformer architecture or the paper introducing the BERT model you can spend some time reading in detail rereading them and understanding how those papers work work in detail. Um, I would recommend reading three, three four, five times, um, really understanding the math, uh, going online, searching for concepts that you are stuck at, finding videos on YouTube perhaps, and really spending some time understanding those top papers will be very valuable because there's also a lot of resources on them, as I said, available online. And um, once you have uh, understood the top papers, you could then, for example, pick a specific area that you're really interested in. For example, let's say you're really interested in machine translation. And then I would recommend digging deep and reading 20, 30, 40, 50 papers from your specific area that you really would like to become a real expert in. Maybe this is the area where you're going to be doing your project on. And for each of the 50 papers, you can um, write summaries, take notes, read and reread, and really try to understand what's going on in as much detail as possible. And after 50 papers, I can assure you that what's going to happen is you're going to understand the common language used in NLP papers much better. You're going to be able to understand new papers much more quickly, and you're going to become, you're going to know what's going on basically. It's going to be going to become uh, really good at it. So this is a very good exercise you can do. Um, if you want to take this to the next level, is what you can do is to also try to run the code of papers if this code is available you can find it on github and you can then retrain them the model of the authors you could try to replicate the results in the table of the paper you could um, run the evaluation and read the code and understand how the code relates to the paper the, the math in the paper, for example. This is also a really good exercise. And the final thing you could try, you know, which is even more difficult, is to try to re-implement papers yourself. So you can then um, start from scratch and using PyTorch, using Hungry Face Transformers, you could try to replicate the results of the authors, maybe program your own model in Transformers, and try to get to the same end result, basically. This will be much more difficult. It's going to take a lot of effort, maybe weeks and months. But in the end, you're going to really learn a lot that it will be very, very valuable to your own project. And then the final area that I would like to cover for this video is if you want to get really good at NLP, is to start a research project in NLP. Doing a research project in NLP will, will get you to critically think about the state of the art in NLP. You're going to have to think, OK, what can we do now? to uh, improve what we have? How can we come up with an even better model? What, would, what can we change? Um, which area can we change? What can we improve to uh, get things to the next level? And you can try to come up with improvements yourself or in a group, your research group that you find online as well. You can uh, then try to come up with this better model and evaluate if you're, if you, to see if your results are indeed getting better from 
what is out there and you're gonna learn a lot, a lot from the process. I plan to actually make a whole video on this topic of how to start a research project and how to write a paper later on. So please subscribe if you would like to be notified when this comes out. So that is all that I wanted to cover for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye bye.